Welcome to Decoding CTOs as a part of Strategies program. Today, I will discuss one case which we have done recently, a case of stumpless Austral RCS CTO, which we have done uh, percutaneously in a retrograde uh, way. Uh, this patient is a 46-year-old male, came with an exertional angina, had normal sinus rhythm and good LVRV function. His stress stress test was positive for which angiogram was done which showed mild LAD and LCX disease and RCA couldn't be visualized in angiogram. Uh, this is the angiogram uh, left injection showing uh, mild osteal disease and we can clearly see RCA is filling retrogradely from LAD and there is mild disease in the osteum as well as uh, mild disease you know in entire proximal and medial AD and uh, RCA is clearly filling from LAD in a retrograde direction so there is a good collateral which is filling RCA so this is epicranial view showing mild LAD disease and mild LCX disease uh, as RCA couldn't be uh, cannulated they took a non-selective autogram so which didn't show RCA origin. So RCA was not visible in non-selective angiogram. So that's why <coughs> patient underwent CT coronary angiogram. So CT coronary angiogram showed so total occlusion of RCA, osteoproximal RCA. It's almost short segment nearly 10 to 15 millimeters of length and there is no calcium here. So yeah, it's uh, osteal RCA total occlusion and RCA is filling retrogradely from, yeah, this is the origin of RCA which is totally occluded and it is filling retrogradely from LAD. At this stage, patient came to us. So we analyzed, yeah, JCTO score may not be quite appropriate in this case as the occlusion is sitting at the ostium of RCA without any stump. But if you analyze, so he has only non-ambiguous uh, uh, stump. So, and there is no calcification in CT and there is no bend in the CTO segment and the length of CTO segment is approximately around 10 to 15 millimeters. So, it's a short segment CTO and it's <coughs> So overall JCTO score is 1 and what is the wiring strategy you know for this patient. So obviously uh, we don't have any anti-grade option in this case um, as uh, you know RCA origin is not clear in uh, uh, angiography there is no stump at all and there is a good interventional collateral. So. Um, so straight away uh, we have to go ahead with retrograde. And in retrograde, uh, again, uh, because it's a short occlusion, most likely you will end up in a true-to-true uh, entry uh, with, uh, you know, initial wires, most likely. So, yeah, that was a strategy, wiring strategy. And uh, you can see this is a good collateral. And, uh, you know, there is no stump here. Yeah. So, we went ahead with seven French guide with long sheath. Uh, and uh, we took a caravel, so and caravel we passed into you know first septal, and uh, you can see uh, this is a connection, so which is uh, looking uh, very promising. So initially I thought of this, but uh, uh, this was not uh, quite uh, you know uh, connective. So we have chosen this septal and. Uh, you can see in this view, uh, this is a plain RAO view where you know this septal is clearly connected with the PDA, but there are bad loops here and as well as here and as well as here. So it's a bit uh, you know loopy uh, uh, septal collateral, uh, but uh, it's almost you know CC2. So only thing is tartuosity is a bit more. So this one looked uh, straight, but the connection was, you know, really missing uh, at the distal end. So that's why I have chosen uh, a proximal 
branch of the first septal and uh, I went ahead with uh, Cyan as the first wire uh, through Caraval. So we went into the branch of the first septal but Cyan stuck at the um, tortuosity and it was not crossing the tortuosity. So then I have to shift to CO wire and uh, with CO mere torquing of wire you know without any push force using systole diastole uh, we could cross the first uh, uh, tortuosity and then this is the second tortuosity which we could negotiate and this is a third tortuosity you know which we could cross easily and then went into uh, PDA. So we crossed a septal with CO and then we advanced a caraval catheter into the RCA. CO went up to proximal RCA and this is the short segment CTO. And I took an injection through the caraval just to understand you know how the vessel is. So but uh, I couldn't visualize any vessel uh, here and uh, we, I injected through the left system and then uh, to confirm the position of caravel and then I did a retrograde wire escalation so to Gaia 1 and the Gaia 1 slowly um, we navigated into the uh, aorta without much difficulty here we can see the movement of the wire you know uh, with the systole so which indicates wire is in aorta so I took two injections in orthogonal view so to confirm the wire position in the aorta so in two orthogonal views wire is looking like in aorta so that confirms aortic position of the wire and then see once we crossed lesion and the wire is in aorta so what is important is wire externalization strategy in this case so which you won't see in any other retrograde this is specific for only austral uh, retrograde so you have three options one is you know you can navigate this wire into guide uh, in LAO and RAO uh, views and uh, second is snare the wire in iota or snare the wire in uh, arch branches with the seven french guide uh, as uh, you know backup for the snare so yeah if you snare the wire in iota or you know arch branches then you advance the guide to the stable position over the arch and then you balloon trap the wire in the guide and advance the caravel that is your microcatheter into anti-grade guide and then balloon trap the caravel and then do you know rg wire uh, exchange and externalization but if you can nav navigate wire into guide you can directly jump onto the balloon trapping wire so we can avoid all these steps so in this case so i tried navigating wire into guide catheter so i tried you know um, uh, cannulating uh, this rca ostm by uh, wire as a guide uh, in both LAO and RAO views but unfortunately as uh, you know the direction of guide in RAO and the direction of the wire are exactly in opposite direction so so this is uh, practically impossible you know to navigate this wire into guide so that's when we thought you know we'll go for snaring so I advanced the Gaia wire into arch branches it went into the left subclavian and in left subclavian artery so we confirmed the position and then you know we snared with a basket snare you can see so I snared the wire and pulled in with the 7 French guide as the uh, backup and pulled this wire into guide and then uh, guide is moved over the wire you know snared wire and uh, now you can see the guide is sitting comfortably on the arch so almost you know uh, immobile at this stage we can uh, balloon trap this wire or you just hold the snare and then try and advance caravel catheter into the anti-grade guide so i just um, uh, snared and uh, 
uh, pushed caravel catheter over the uh, into the anti-grade gu guide you can see this is the caravel catheter this is a caravel catheter which came to anti-grade guide and then so we trapped this and caravel catheter in the anti-grade guide with a balloon this is a 2.5 balloon which is trapping uh, you know caravel catheter so now guide won't move and we can uh, exchange with RG wire and we can externalize so we exchange with RG wire and then we externalized and once wire externalization is done we can uh, push guide into our RC RCA ostium and we can start doing uh, procedure over the uh, RG wire so the first step uh, is better to do an IVAS just to uh, identify whether your wire is in true lumen or is there any dissection re-entry because dissection at the osteal RCA so is bit dangerous thing you know you may even uh, extend those dissections into iota so we did an IVAS so you can see this is osteal RCA so exactly you know uh, our IVAS catheter is sitting in the true lumen so and uh, this is the distal RC, uh, distal RCA where you know it is sitting in the true lumen. So our wire crossing is all true to true. So once that is confirmed, I balloon dilated ostium with a 2.5 balloon, and then uh, I took a crusade catheter to cross uh, to enter the branch which is sitting here. So there is a branch, huge branch, which is sitting uh, here, and then I dilated that branch. We can see, you know, this is the branch. It's a big branch. This is the uh, big branch, uh, uh, you know, um, which is coming uh, early from RCA, RB branch. Yeah. So now the vessel is opened. So now we have to uh, decide, uh, you know, stunting strategy. If you see the vessel. Um, so there is, uh, I mean, it's looking like diffusely diseased here and here also the vessel was quite small uh, up to PLVP. So I thought, you know, it's better to do an, uh, a complete uh, IVA study before deciding on uh, stunting strategy. So when I did IVAS, uh, this is a IVAS of mid-segment and uh, this is IVAS of PLVP. We can see the IVAS of PLVP, which is looking like deceased in angio so there is a mild blocking no doubt about it but overall the vessel size is you know around 1.75 millimeter so it's all a kind of uh, you know negative remodeled uh, vessel uh, rather than a deceased vessel this is a PTA and this is a mid RCA so so which is you know I mean not much of block in the vessel and we can see the vessel is hardly two millimeters in size. It's less than two millimeters. It's around one point seven five, and maximum up to two millimeters. There is not much of block here, so uh, it looked like uh, you know by and large negative remodeling. So with I was uh, uh, I mocked uh, you know distal landing zone that is uh, the plaque extension, the distal most extension of the uh, plaque and uh, then you know um, we stunted so the block was extending up to this point so we took a uh, you can see these are the IVA sections uh, at a distal RCA not much of block so here there is uh, some amount of block but still there is a predominant negative remodeling and this is uh, there is a um, block uh, you know at the bifurcation and this is ostium there is a huge block sitting there so we decided to go ahead with a 3 into 28 mm uh, stunt. So I stunted with 3 into 28 mm and you can see after stunting also the vessel was not looking so great. Uh, but I was clearly showed uh, you know uh, negative remodeling. So and we left this vessel at this stage. And I brought the patient back after uh, three months, and uh, I mean this is the IVAS which showed uh, you know good, well expanded stunt and you know no block in the mid RCA, which was actually looked deceased uh, uh, 
uh, in uh, angiogram. Uh, so I brought the patient after three months, you know, uh, I checked again, you can see the difference. So after three months, the vessel has grown and all the distal RCA became normal and uh, PLVB uh, became uh, normal sized uh, except you know the mid RCA uh, where some amount of block was even there at the time of you know first intervention. So uh, so this is what happens you know uh, in a negative remodeling of vessel you know once you leave and do a check angio after some time. So yeah. So uh, yeah, you can see this is the epicranial view, uh, how it is behaving. So uh, this is immediately after procedure and this is after three months. So now the vessel is grown very well and the, you know, uh, and all the negative remodeling uh, became, you know, positive remodeling. So uh, we did an IVS, uh, as expected there was uh, uh, you know, a huge block sitting here in the mid RCA and uh, with a MLA of you know, 1.4 to 2 mm square so we decided to stunt this segment and you know we just dilated yeah, and it was too to see this balloon was actually uh, melon seeding so while dilating. So with the difficulty, you know, we could uh, uh, achieve a good dilatation and then we stunted with a 2.75 and 38 stunt and this was the final result. So with a good RCA. So the learning points uh, from this case, ostial total occlusion of RCA, retrograde PCA is the only option and wire externalization is the key which may need extra techniques like either navigation into LAO, into guide in LAO and RAO views or snaring the wire either in iota or in uh, branches of arch of iota and then advancing microcatheter and externalizing after trapping microcatheter. And first pass IVAS is uh, quite important to confirm uh, retrograde wire location uh, so that you won't extend uh, uh, any dissection into iota and post CTO segment ne negative remodeling uh, mimics lesion in many occasions so so any lesions after CTO segment before you stunt it's better to do an intravascular ultrasound and see uh, uh, whether it could be a negative remodeling as it as it happened in this case. Uh, three months angiogram in this case clearly showed a normal distal RCA and PLVB. There was some disease in mid RCA, you know, which we stunted subsequently. Thank you.